NA10 has come out with a completely new update, making it so much easier to make your AI agents and so much faster as well, especially for people who don't know how to code. So I'm going to show you the old way how we used to make AI agents in NA10. First, you just added an AI agent node and you connected your uh, OpenAI chat model. And in here, if you want to send an email, for example, with Outlook, what you need to do is you need to add this uh, from AI code. So as you can see in here, we have written to the AI basically that uh, this little input right here is to, and the description is email accounts you're sending to, and also that it needs to be of type string. So that took quite a while, and you also need to learn a bit of code to write this out for every input you need to use for all the tools you need to use for your AI agents. Now, we can do the new way. And by the way, if you don't have this update yet, you'll probably need to update your NA10 version down here on the left-hand side. You will have an update notification. You can just come over to the admin panel, click on that. And over in the admin panel here, you can just click on manage and you will just see the NA10 version, which you can click on the newest one and then just click on save changes and you can head back to your uh, workflow. It takes like 30 seconds for you to upgrade. Now to make your AI agents using the tools after the update, it's so much easier because as you can see here down in the new way, we have connected the chat uh, trigger node here and to the AI agents and we still use the AI open AI chat model and we also use the get contacts in here as you can see we use Google Sheets to get contacts in here we don't need to use the from AI uh, input because it just gets all the contacts in my contacts sheet right here as you can see both Paolo and Jens and what we want to do is see again we want to send the email to Outlook so we are just saying in here that we don't want to set this manually by using the from AI. So what we can do now is we can actually use this new little feature right here, which you can just click on and it will automatically generate that from AI code for you. Because as you can see, when I click on this X sign right here, it has said two as the word for the input, hasn't put a description and it said that the format needs to be a string. So basically it tells that to, to the AI model and we can do the same for the subject and also for the message. And as you can see down here now, we can actually add a description ourselves if you want to do that. Then we can just say something like, this is the subject for the email. And same thing you could do for the message uh, and also for the two, but we don't need to because the OpenAI uh, chat model will understand this anyways. So what we can do now is we can test it out, this out. But first you're just going to send a little, little system message to the AI agent because we actually wanted to have the current date because that helps it to get a little to add a little summary back to us if it wants to do that so we can just say you're a helpful assistant date is and in these curly brackets double curly brackets you can say, just say dollar sign now because that is the date of today and also the time so what we can do now is you can just chat with this click on open chat right here we can just say send a, an email to pablo asking him for a meeting in two hours as you see, it will now be sent to the chat uh, model, which will use the contacts to find Pablo. Just need to turn my camera back on again. And it will then send the email to, pa to Pablo. And as you can see in our email right now, we got a new email here from me that says, hi Pablo, I hope this message finds you well. I would like to schedule a meeting with you in two hours. If you're available, please let me know if that works for you, best regards. And it didn't have my name because I didn't give it my contact information, but that doesn't matter. The only thing with this tutorial is to show you how you can use this new way of creating the AI agent with this automatically filled out uh, from AI code. So if you enjoyed the video, please make sure to subscribe. And if you want to work with me, you can click the link in the description and I'll see you in the next one.